Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News. Snow's coming, school's off. Not yet, they called it of course, 15 hours before the snow, first snowflake even falls because they're afraid of snow now. That's how that works. But, <laughs> whatever. Was over in uh, Northumberland, Pennsylvania today, visiting the girls' family, you know, bringing some food. Stopped over at WNS, picked up two beers from the Burlington Brewing Company, and I picked up a four pack of the recently released Otter Chirp Hazy Double IPA from New Trail Brewing Company, Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And I was looking for this in Bloomsburg the day before, couldn't find it. So they just got this in today. So, wow. Fresh. Not used to that. But to make it better, I do have a 15 year old beer. Two 15 year old beers to review to kind of even out the freshness. So we'll be alright. Okay, 8.5 alcohol by volume, right into the night imperial category, which is good. Oh, dribble dribble. The otter dribbled on me. Okay, here we go. Listen to the Spectres over Gorgoroth from Isengard, the demo. Alright. Auto Otter Chirp. Oh, wow, I can't read that at all. Citra Amarillo. Ooh, Amarillo. Simcoe and Chinook. White Wheat and Oats. <coughs> I like Amarillo. Cheers. Mmm. Grapefruit Tangerine. Yeah, it's like a grapefruit tangerine, a little bit of um, just an orange, piffy, piffy orange, and a little bit of mango. Bit of floralness. Make a nice <clears throat> a little bit of resiny floralness. There's a lot of uh, woof to this, <laughs> for this beer. There's a lot of I think they, uh, the, I mean, the fresh, fresh hops and that little bit of that ethanol alcohol still wafting through there. So it's like, okay, all right, whoa, okay. But it smells good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I had just got out of the shower. I think I'm draining a little bit. I'm not happy about it. I'm just saying. Cheers. It's very easy drinking beer. Very enjoyable. <clears throat> Soft brightiness. Earthy pepperiness. Still a little bit of that kind of floral tone out that kind of Soft herb herbaceousness mixed with a little bit of a floral tone. You got that nice tangerine and a, and a little bit of that kind of, what do you call it, like kind of like a, uh, that piffy orange rind, that, that white piffiness. Well, Amarillo usually gives me like a nice orange in general, but the piffiness, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take it. There's a nice solid grapefruit underneath everything from that Simcoe, obviously, too, and Chinook. Is gonna bring that. Mm. Wow, everything kind of just blends together pretty well. Medium sweetness, it's not drying me out, which is cool. I like a sweeter double IPA. <laughs> this isn't sweet, 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 but it is. Balanced sweet. Everything's very balanced. Very cohesive, Joe. I like it. I thought it was going to be a little abrasive because of how, how fresh it was. Or is. On a chirp. On a chirp. On a chirp. So we do apparently have... I've never seen one. But I've heard stories of river otters in, in Pennsylvania. Uh, first of all... <laughs> 
Uh, I've heard a lot of stories about River Riders in Pennsylvania. Some good, some bad. And good and bad is just your perspective of who you are and how you think. So, that kind of thing. But I've never seen one. I've been on a lot of rivers. I've been on a lot of creeks. Never saw one. A lot of muskrat. No river otters. So, a lot of mink. Oh, yeah. Well, I have to assume they're protected. Because of how rare they would be. I, um, don't quote me on that one at all. But I would have to assume they are. And then there's no... Usually when they're doing something like theme like Arter Chirp, they should put, like put a little snippet on there or something like that. I don't know. But I like information, so I think that's really cool. But, yeah, I don't know. This beer is rare and limited. Maybe that's like an otter. <laughs> It's nice. It reminds me, it's less creamy than Double Broken Heels, but it does remind me a lot about a lot of Double Broken Heels. Um, a lot of their uh, Hazy Double IPAs remind me a lot of their other day, Hazy Double IPAs. Just letting you know that. <laughs> That's a joke with New Trail. Same beer, different can. Um, but I, I have had lots of beers from Neutrals that are hazy double IPAs that had a very different um, makeup, let's just say, than other of their stock. So, I mean, it does change. But, there are, <clears throat> I think it's kind of formulaic to a certain degree. Um, so, that I think that one is why that some of them do come out very similar in tonalities, you know. Mm. So there you go. Yeah, I think the beard's coming back. I don't know how crazy, but I'm just going to let it go with this thing. It's going to be a gray beard now. <laughs> I'm old. Hmm. All right. Jesus. I don't know. That is hard. Can you see, well, I mean, you can almost see how hard it is. A little bit of light, and it just whites out. That's, oh, man. <laughs> tangerine bouquet. As a, as a bouquet of tangerines as a tasting note. I've never, a floral bouquet, I can, I can understand that. I've never, I've never saw, I've never seen Saw? Seen? See? Saw? Seen? Have seen? Saw? Tangerine bouquet as a as a flavor note before. That was weird. Light resin. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. And sweet currants. Ooh. Nope, no, it's no sweet currants. Sorry. Um, that's one of the ones that escaped me, or I just didn't pick it up. Which means it escaped me. Whatever. <laughs> so... Uh, let's see, in Port, uh, Bruden, Williamsport, Pennsylvania, Arch Street, building number 18. It's in a big complex, so you have to kind of like go through it like you're going into like a lumber yard, and then you go back and back, and it's down there. It's in the middle. But this is a good beer. I like this beer. I'm going to blow my nose. I might pause it. I probably will. I have the ability now, so it should be, it should be polite. And I'm back. Okay. So, last tasty, tasty. Cheers. Taste the bouquet. Not bukake. Different bouquet. I'm saying. Just in case you were confused. Now it's lingering in the palate a little bit. Maybe there's a currant I'm tasting. But I would say that it almost reminds me of a slight apricot vibe. Like a, it's just a darker, a darker tonality fruit in the back. Mixing with the earthiness and stuff. That's kind of sitting on the palate after I, you know, stopped drinking it for a while and blew my nose, got back to you. 
<clears throat> I wouldn't say that I wouldn't be able to pick out currents, but I wouldn't mind saying, you know, sometimes people just like in cooking, currants and raisins are kind of interchangeable. Um, I don't think the, I'm not sure if the flavors are very interchangeable, but I know in cooking a lot, sometimes if you can't get currants, you use raisins. So I don't know about that. Maybe that's more of a texture thing and less of a flavor thing. But, yes, uh, if you just let it linger, if you have to, get it. Um, I would definitely say that you get a little bit of something that reminds me of like a, more of an, like an apricot kind of a thing. A dried apricot kind of vibe in the back. But like overall, the, the beer is extremely easy drinking, approachable, tasty, uh, balanced, and cohesive. Those are all good words. It's not bombastic, though. See? But it's pretty damn good. So. There is a little bit of a sharpness around the beer still that I can take, take pick up because it is fresh. But it's a pretty good beer. I'm going to give it a nine. Absolutely. No problem. Yep. Definitely worth a pickup. Definitely worth a, pick, worth a pickup for Auto Chirp. Really nice hazy double IPA, especially if you like things like their double broken heels and stuff like that. If you've had, if you enjoy those, there it is right here. Well, this has been Paul from Bay Brew News. Cheers. Mm. Bye bye. Watch your finger. Here it comes. Mm.